Alright, what is up guys? We're back today with another tip video in No Man's Sky. Today's video is going to be about how to get the blueprints for Lubricant and Acid. Um, they're very simple. You guys are going to be missing a little bit. I'll uh, go over briefly how to get to this point verbally, but if you guys want to see videos on how to actually do it, I'll link them in order up on the top. They have nothing to do with actually getting them. It's just shown in the video how you get to this part. So, just to briefly verbally overview it, uh, you're going to need a construction terminal and you're going to have to go con hire a construction overseer. It's pretty simple. It's honestly not that hard. Um, you can build the construction terminal and it will like tell you to go to a space station to hire a construction overseer. So what you're going to need to do is after that, you're going to need to go ahead and build a science terminal, which as you can see here shortly, um, that's just going to require 45 or 40 chromatic metal and then so 40 chromatic metal and 25 magnetized ferrite and as you can see i can't even place it in the same room so if you only have one part in your base you're going to need to go ahead and install another part so in order to do that if you're like me i'm using the ones that require pure ferrite to build so you just want to go gonna want to go ahead and mine some pure ferrite so it's really easy to do. You're only going to need an advanced mining laser. Um, if you guys don't have an advanced mining laser already, I will link another video up in the top right telling you how to get it. It's really easy um, and it's really useful if you haven't gotten one already. So you're just wanna go, gonna want to go ahead, get the uh, pure ferrite to go build your base and build the base. I'll cut to when my base is built. All right, guys. Now that you've added another room into your base. Go back in and uh, go ahead and go inside that new build or new building, and you're gonna want to go ahead and build that science terminal. Again, it's only 40 chromatic metal and 25 magnetized ferrite. It's really easy to build, and once you build it, a little pop-up should come up saying you need a Corvax entity in order to become a for a uh, science terminal overseer. So the way to do that is uh, you're actually going to need to go to your space station. Now the only trick is, is if it's not a Corvax controlled system, you're not going to find a Corvax uh, scientist for your science terminal. So the easiest way to do that will probably be to um, go to the space station and use the teleport to teleport to the system that is controlled, con uh, controlled by Corvax. If you've not already discovered a Corvax controlled system, Go ahead and go to your go to space go to your galaxy map and as you can see the third one down would tell you the dominant uh like race in this system and uh just find one that says corvax it shouldn't be too hard um and go ahead and warp over there using your hyperdrive if you have already again just use the teleport i'll cut to where the teleportation actually is if you guys don't already know so it's just going to be in your space station. It should be on the left side. As you can see, I make a mistake here and actually want to run to the right side for some reason. But um, I quickly correct myself and call myself dumb and then shrug and go back over to the other side. Um, the teleportation is actually really useful if you guys have not already known about that. Uh, it allows you to teleport back to and for, um, from systems without using your hyperdrive as long as you've discovered them already. So it will just be on the left side of the space station all the way in the back here. This is what it looks like. So just go ahead and select the system that's controlled by Corvax. All right, so now that you're here in your system that's controlled by Corvax, for me, both of my overseers were back on the back right of the space station in a little room off to the side. So you're just going to want to go ahead and run over there and just talk to everyone in there. Um, it really shouldn't be that hard i mean there shouldn't be that many people in there so just go ahead and talk to everyone and uh yeah once you've actually found the person that is hired or is available for hire it should just be a couple dialogue things no nothing too complicated uh it should say something about hiring for a science terminal all right so now that you're back at your base you just want to go ahead and talk to him it's as easy as that that's all you need to do is just talk to him and after you finish talking to him you just hit request aid and he'll give you the two blueprints um as you can see blueprint for lubricant and acid and yeah i mean they're really important for early game money making methods if you already have a farm um if you don't already have a farm uh you're kind of out of luck but they will be useful for money methods later in the game when you actually make a farm and you have the tier one tier two tier three and tier four um if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, I'll actually link another video up top, kind of uh, where I, in a video where I kind of explained it a little bit more. 
So if you guys want to know what I'm talking about and uh, more about farming in general, I'll link a video where I kind of explained it more in there. But anyways, guys, if you found this helpful, don't forget to leave a like. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, or need me to cover anything, go ahead and drop a comment down below. And if you want more content like this, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.